Hi, this is Lloyd Allen at FixingMarriages.com. Why is it that some people don't talk about the subject of sex? Because in this video, we'll be talking about sex and how to talk to your spouse about sex. Okay? And so welcome to the program, The Psychology of Human Sexuality. Now, there are many things that can affect a person's perception of sex. There are marriages, marriages that are on the verge of divorce for the couples are undergoing serious issues regarding sex, but they don't know how those issues originated. For example, um, let, let's talk about some of the things that can affect a person's perception of sex, for example. A person might have been molested as a child. That can affect the way you view sex in, in marriage as well, if you, were not, if you were not healed from that trauma. So you might have been molested as a child. In your home, during your upbringing, you might have heard stories about sex that are un, uh, unkind or negative. Your parents, for example, might have told you that sex is bad, that a man is bad, and so forth. And so you grow up with the thought that sex is just bad. And in marriage, you're affected by sex. Whenever you are to have sexual intercourse with your husband, for example, you find it disgusting. You, 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 you resent it because sex to you hurts. Okay? And so it's important for you to understand then how to deal with those issues within your marriage. Also, the man, too, can have um, negative views of sex, okay? He may not learn the discipline of sex. For example, he may always be thinking of another person leaving the, the home because, you know, he might have been sexually active with multiple partners even before the marriage, and so his mind is always wandering, okay? He may also be addicted to pornography, and you don't know that. And that too can affect his view of sex. He may believe that, okay, he may come to the place where his wife cannot really satisfy him, cannot, is not enough for him. And so it's important. There are a lot of sexual issues that people have within the confines of marriage, and they must know how to talk about these issues. All right? Let's talk about um, some of the answers, some of the ways to deal with, with some of these issues within the confines of marriage so you can deal well with your marriage, okay? Now, three things I want to sh share with you, three points here as you talk about sex. Let me just share, first of all, that another reason people, some people don't talk about sex is because they don't have the vocabulary to talk about sex. They don't have the frame of reference. And when you don't know how to talk about something, many people leave it alone for they feel more comfortable recoiling in their state of ignorance. And that's one of the main reasons people don't communicate about sex because they do not know what to talk about. Okay? Because they are wholly ignorant of the subject. The first point I want to share with you is to improve your communication about sex within the bedroom or within marriage is number one, don't try to read mind. Just ask him or her. Don't try to read mind. Oh, I wonder what he's, she's thinking. Why, why is she like this? Why, why is it that sex is not comfortable for her? And you start to think wild things. The best thing to do in this situation, don't try to read mind, just ask. What are you thinking? I want to be enough for you. I want to satisfy you. I want to make you happy. Can you please tell me what your needs are as it relates to sex? That's it. Just to say that to your spouse can make a world of difference. All right? So don't try to read mind. Just ask him or ask her. How can I satisfy you? What is it that you want? Because I genuinely want to make you happy. So please tell me what your needs are. That's it. Okay? That's number one. Number two, never raise your voice. Rather, improve your argument. Okay? 
Don't become erratic. Don't become violent. Don't try to in intimidate your spouse. I know you never like me. I know you must be having somebody else. I know you're always like this. Your mom is like that and your dad is like that. And no, don't raise your voice. In other words, but rather improve your argument. And the way to improve your argument is to get knowledge of this subject. So start reading some good books on this subject. Go to, some, go to a seminar, for example. Go to a workshop. Okay? Even go to counseling together. Discuss the topic together. And when you have a frame of reference and you have information, you don't have to be raising your voice and trying to bully each other and intimidate one another, hoping that your force, okay, your masculine energy will, 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 will drive her into submission. No. Sex is something that you must enjoy together. And if the, the, if the woman is wounded psychologically, she won't be able to respond sexually for her psychological nature and her sexual nature are intertwined, are closely linked. So what you do at that stage, you seek information on the subject. For you see, when you don't understand something, it's difficult to do it. As a matter of fact, even impossible. But when you know how to do something, it becomes easy. So get the know-how, get the knowledge on the subject of sex. Read some good books together. Discuss it together, both of you. So don't raise your voice. Improve your argument. I'd like you to remember that. And the third point I want to share with you is this. Never make assumption. Get the facts. Okay? Don't say, well, I know you were looking at somebody yesterday and I know you are keeping somebody else with me. No way. Don't make assumption. Say, yes, I know you're talking to that girl and I know that she messed up your mind and I know you don't like me anymore. I saw you, you're buying something, you're, you're, you're ordering something for, for a lady. Don't make assumptions, but rather get the facts. And so you can understand why communication in marriage is very important. Why were you looking at her like that? Oh, and the man should to be humble enough to just explain himself. Because if, if the wife asks that question, then it's a genuine concern for her. So don't get her to shut up by, by telling her, forget it. Not at all. No. Give her an answer. And if you are to give her a good answer, by the way, you should look well to your habits. And that this goes for both man and woman. Is that clear? And so, lady, if the man is asking a question, um, what is it that makes you feel this way? How do you feel about sex and so forth? Answer him gently, okay? Have intelligent conversation on the subject of sex because remember this, marriage is really for intelligent people. So start having intelligent communication on the subject, all right? So just to, just to in a nutshell, let me just um, rehearse what I just said. Um, the three points, how to talk about sex. Number one, don't try to read mind, ask. Just ask. Number two, don't raise your voice improve your argument. Read some good books. Get some information on the subject. And when you are filled with knowledge on the subject, then you can talk about the subject intelligently and in a more meaningful manner. And number three, never make assumption. Okay? Don't blame your wife. Don't blame your spouse for doing this or doing that before you get the facts. Because many times, 99% of the time, people are wrong when they make assumptions. All right? And remember, it's your partner. You marry to love and to trust each other. So maintain the trust. Don't erode the trust by making assumption. Always give the other person the benefit of the doubt and let the person feel that, okay, I trust you. So could you please tell me what happened? But when you start to make assumptions, you start to insinuate distrust in the relationship. All right? God bless you with this just for today, how to talk about sex. Remember this. And, um, and then I hope that, that by better communication, your sex life will improve. Talk to you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.